All right, guys. Hi, Dre. Over here. Left. How are you? Doing? Yeah. Good. How are you? Uh, when they gave you the matchup, Faris ZM, tall, lanky striker like yourself, did that excite you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, tall, lanky striker like myself. Uh, yeah, good matchup, man. Um, looking forward to it. I'm excited. So, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to go. And uh, what do you make of his striking? Obviously, he comes from a striking background. First of all, were you kind of aware? Have you watched him before, or did you have to kind of watch some tape? Uh, no, I, I had seen him before um, on one of the UFC cards, so I didn't. Uh, I did sort of know who it was, and yeah, 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 good, good uh, striker. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm uh, confident in my own striking ability, so you know, I'm going to go out there and get the win. He mixed things up in his uh, last win. What do you think the chances are that we see a takedown in this fight, whether from you or him, like percentage? Yeah, I think there'll be. Um, you know, he, like I say, he does he look to wrestle as well and uh, strike. So I wouldn't be surprised if he um, is shooting and a takedown on me. So, yeah, I'm ready for that situation and I'm, I'm ready to go wherever the, the fight take goes. And your last fight, I know you were very disappointed with the draw. Just uh, how have you been able to kind of reflect from that? And it, was it hard to kind of get over that outcome? Yeah, you know, it was... I'm just happy with the year performance. I've just, I've just, I've just moved on from it now. You know, I'm just, I look, look back at the fight, and I'm just happy with the performance. Um, the result is, it is what it is, um, and all I can do is look at the performance and take confidence from that. And are you content moving forward in your career to just keep fighting in the UK? Like, would you have it that way? Yeah, I love fighting in the UK. You know, it's just down the road for me. Uh, London is so, you know, it's great. But now, nah, yeah, I'd love to fight all all around the world, wherever the UFC want me to go. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Jai, uh, um, um, with that last fight uh, with the draw, you, you had a point taken away for what's down as multiple groin strikes. When when we looked back at some videos afterwards, I think one of them looked like it was more on the hip or something like that. Is there anything you think that, that refs or officials could could put in place in terms of going back and quickly watching videos more just to get some clarity on, on that kind of stuff? Or does it stop the action too much? Like, how do you feel as a fighter? Do you think there needs to be more, I hate to use the phrase like VAR, what there is in football, because there's such a negativity around that at the moment. But is there, is there something that, that, that could be more used more frequently or in place? Yeah, like the VAR situation. I mean, to be honest, it would only take a minute to, to look at the video, wouldn't it? So, you know, I don't, not even that, 30 seconds or whatever, to like look at it and, and like make a decision. Uh, or a referee outside the, the cage could maybe have a look and give their opinion. But, um, you know, it is what it is. The first shot was definitely a groin strike. Uh, the next one was questionable. You know, it looked like I, I caught him. I didn't think I hit him in the groin, to be honest. Um, it looked like he just hit him. You look at the video, everyone's saying I hit the groin. Uh, sorry, he hit his um, hip, hip, yeah. So, but I've just moved on from it now, you know. Um, it is what it is. I'm happy with the performance and I'm just taking the confidence into my next fight. Thank you very much. Jai, you've been in there with uh, Ilya Teporia. I'm just curious how you think he does against Alexander Volkanovsky. Um, I think, you know, Volk is probably up there. He's, he's, I think he's pound pound number one now at the minute. Um, I watched his last fight against... Um, oh, did he just fight? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just I watched that last fight, and he, you know, he makes like great, really good fighters look, look, uh, you know, not as good as him, basically. Um, I think Ilya probably do well against him, to be honest. But I think Volk is just, he's just like on another level at the minute. And and what do you think? You know, when you see Volkanovski going to different divisions as well as as featherweight, does that make you feel? Uh, you know, how how do you feel about that? I think it's you know it's great that he's he's out there challenging himself, um, trying to you know just chasing greatness, trying to be a featherweight champion and a lightweight champion. And you know the lightweight fight he, when he fought against Islam was really close. Um, he did really well, and I'll you know I'd be excited to see the rematch as well if he does if he, he chooses to take that take that. How do you think the rematch will go down if they do? Uh, uh, I think. I mean, I think maybe maybe Volt gets the win, you know, because he was really close last time, but. You can never, you can never say because Islam might work on something else and then you know come out there and get the win. But it's a really close matchup and it was, a, it was a great fight. I'm really excited to watch that again. Thank you, George. Down here, I know you've been training at um, K Star Legacy in, in Quinton with the Muay Thai coach Damien Trainer. How much has he helped refine your striking on the lead up to this fight? 
yeah, my striking coach is like um, Damien. He's one of them, and Damien and Joby. Um, yeah, Damien. I've been working with him for a few, couple of years now. Uh, you know, and he's got a vast experience of uh, Muay Thai. He's trained all, you know, travelled all over the world, fought lo- all over the world. And, you know, he's, 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 he's given me some of that um, experience and it's helped me improve my game immensely. Is that somewhere in this fight with Fares that you, you feel you hold a big advantage? Yeah, yeah, you know, Fares has got the um, kickboxing background, but I'm, you know, I've, I've got a good, I'm just a good striker anyway. I, mean, I fought guys who were, were boxers, kickboxers before this, I never mind, I've beat them you know, stopped them. So it just makes no difference to me. I'm going there to get the win. Thank you. Best of luck. Cheers, bro. Sweet. Great. Thank you, you, everyone. Thank you.